We're here in sunny Arizona in December. Uh, I'm gonna have to take this hoodie off because it's almost 70 degrees, but they have gold panning here at Lynx Creek. There are bears, so come in a group or have protection. And uh, it's hands and pans only, so we can't run the sluice box, can't do anything else. So we're gonna play with the metal detector we have and pan, see what type of gold they have. But as you can see, there's a forest in Arizona with running water and a river. So free recreational area here at Lynx Creek, right outside of uh, Prescott or Prescott, however you wanna say it. So yeah, let's try not to get sunburned in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> this is the main recreational gold panning place. Got a little bathroom, parking lot, and then Lynx Creek is right down here and uh, they've recovered a lot of gold. But yeah, Forest, Arizona, pretty cool. Yeah, so definitely not like what I'm used to in Oregon. Good bedrock, but these water levels really low. Kind of weird because last December when I came, this place had way more water. Found a section that actually has a little more water so we can dip the pan in. I'm gonna sample these other people's holes. See if there's any gold. If not, we're gonna keep walking up river, maybe find a tributary to, to metal detect. I brought the bad boy because there's not much water. Okay, do a sample pan. There's black sand. The gold is so small. Definitely gonna go to a different place. So I did another pan. A lot of black sands, heavies. I think this is magnetite, I don't know. There was clay. And all I got was this one little shiny piece of gold right here and then some really, really fines up here on the head end of the black sand. I don't know how well it shows up on a cell phone, but I really had my hopes up. If, if I saw this material in any other state, like Oregon, California, Idaho, or somewhere else, even Georgia, there'd be so much more gold. So I think I need to probably go a little farther up river where there's actual water flow, maybe above the dam if I'm allowed to, because there's barely any water and we're farther downstream, which means gold should be smaller in theory. There's a lot of them. <clears throat> well, there's no water this year, apparently. There's even good bedrock. Well, something was here before us. What phone is that? Well, definitely the Wild West now. So I went farther up river thinking there'd be better water flow. Again, I came here at the exact same time in December of last year and this was flowing, there was ice. Some bedrock people have cleared off. Tailings, piles. Somebody dug this nice hole. I can't even sample it because there's no water. I just did a 10 minute hike all the way up down some gullies and gulches or whatever to get here. This is dry. Lynx Creek. Like there's not even a trickle. Oh, there's a little, little area of water. Actually, there's hope. All right, I'm gonna try to sample some stuff. Dang, they cleared this bedrock. Look at that. I mean, gosh, dang, they must have. Suction dredged or done something. It's really nice out though. Okay, so I sampled that little hole. I haven't even started swirling. There you see a piece of gold right there. Way more black sand too. So I'm gonna keep swirling. 
I'm gonna let you guys know what the gold's like. There's so much black sand, I'm not even gonna be able to go through all of it. I'm gonna have to just suck stuff up and then clean this up at home. Good piece there. Good piece there, looks kind of coarse. Another good piece there, there. And there's several more spread throughout all of this. So this is definitely the spot, it seems like. Can't hurt to check if there's anything on the bedrock. Iron. Iron. No strong signals. Pretty sure people have gone over this. I mean, this looks like it's been wiped clean. That's a big boulder. Look at those old tailing piles or something. It's a cool place. Definitely need more time to explore. Just stepped on this. Look at these tailing piles. Of People dug all of this up. A lot of history here. Sampled a few other areas, didn't find much. Found this cool area. Narrow bedrock with some rapids. Widens out, low pressure zone. Looks like it's starting to freeze though. Turn the ice. Yep. Pick up your trash, recycle people, geez. Maybe come back to this spot and snipe in the summer if there's good water flow. I don't know, I never hear about people sniping in Arizona. This looks like some good sniping bedrock. Very interesting. People do some weird stuff out here. Okay, so Lynx Creek, probably not the best place to go in Arizona. The gold is better when you go farther up the the creek it's harder to access so if you're old or you have kids probably not the best thing to do uh lynx creek's more of a place for trying to practice your skills and how to gold pan since it is hands and pans they don't allow high bankers but yeah you can't even use a sluice it's just a good way to try to practice you can metal detect i didn't find anything there's so much trash i mean i could be in a good spot because I'm in this goalie gulch or whatever, and there's a there's a big piece of quartz. There's some float, but days are really short in mid-December, so kind of uh, don't really have much time to try to find the source of some of the gold. But it is better if you go farther up the creek. If you really care about getting gold in Arizona, probably join a club, go visit a claim, or go to like really hard to reach areas because going to places that have been hit so much not worth it plus there's not that much water in Arizona this is good looking bedrock I would sample this and carry some of the, the material to the water but again I just I don't feel like it but it is a very interesting area come in groups bring protection because there's obviously animals out here that would really want to hurt you or cause some damage. Uh, this is winter time, so I don't really have to worry about rattlesnakes, but I'm sure in the summer, when more bears are out and more snakes are out, definitely bring protection. Anyways, subscribe, and I'll show you the gold when I get home from Lynx Creek. I'm back in Oregon, just cleaned out the Lynx Creek gold. Only sampled a few pans, but uh, extremely fine so you know you're not going to find any giant nuggets unless you're metal detecting out in a very remote area that hasn't really been hit so yeah there's gold at Lynx creek but you're just going for the outdoor experience not to get rich